Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, it looks like uh, because I left and re-entered all the enemies returned. But I know I already killed them, so I'm not going to fret too much about it. Like, I'm pretty sure I got those gems in the water. There, I got you too. Hey, it's Gary! Just a great name for a dragon. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I almost didn't see you there! Was that Riptock a tourist? Well, it's a dead tourist now. So it's not my problem. Oh, I guess the yellow ones do give you 10. I mean, they always did! But again, the game makes me think that they're only worth 5. What the hell happened to you? Hey, Spyro boy, am I glad to see you! What's going on around here? Those Riptocks have decided to have a luau feast, and I just found out that we're the main course. Oh, you look like an appetizer to me. Mm. <laughs> we save us, Spyro. The Riptocks have locked us all up behind these cage doors, and we're stuck here waiting for them to come back. I heard them whispering something about hot and spicy sauce. I'd love to help, but how am I going to get you out of there? Uh, the bars are made out of wood. Can't you burn them? Each cage is sealed and can only be opened by finding and activating a switch. Find each switch to open each cage. You mean like what I saw there? Oh, that's a dead giveaway. Activate that switch and I go free. What switch? How do you see that? Like, you're in a cage. You, you can't just see that. Good to know fire can press buttons. And it just opens right away. What the hell? You're not gonna leave? Thank you so much, Spyro. I just couldn't have handled being eaten for dinner. No problem. You're fine with breakfast? I'll keep a nose out for your friends. I think I can smell them roasting off in the distance. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, murder is funny. <laughs> Hard to believe these uh, wooden tiki totems are weak against fire and they are carrying fire. Okay, so they're just gems inside these tiki statues. Why did I think that I actually had to destroy them for something special? I guess not. Hey! Okay. Almost missed out on those gems because the camera didn't like me. So I guess the only place I can really go is like through where that tourist was. Because there's another area right here. Let's go check it out. Couldn't just escape through that way. Just use the Z button and B in the Atlas. That's how I get out of some things that I don't really want to leave yet. Why do the pelicans or like seagulls turn into racks of lamb? You jerk. <laughs> Wait. Oh, my bubbles can't go through that? What the hell? It should be able to. It's bubbles. It didn't even look like I touched him. Didn't even make a noise for collision, and yet that was a hit. I mean, it wasn't my favor, but still. It's the principle that I'm concerned about. Next thing you know, he's just gonna burn his roast and then uh, disguise uh, Krusty Burger as his own cooking. Do we want to go down that slippery slope? Did I get hit? I didn't even notice.
Oh god, that that bottle was just like hiding. Oh, this is gonna be so disorienting to get around. Is there an enemy I did not kill? If it is, it's not in the water. Oh, wait a minute. Do I see a bottle over there? No. It looked like a bottle to me. And that's the scary part. That I'm not gonna believe the evidence of my eyes. And I can't trust the evidence of my ears because... I read about this game on Wikipedia, ugh, Wikipedia, the most reliable source in the entire universe, the Megaverse, the Gigaverse, and the Ultraverse, and sounds do not really carry well in this game at all. Like, anything that happens at a distance sounds like it's happening from really close, and vice versa. So good luck to you if you are just relying on your hearing to play this game. Because it's not going to go well. Okay, there's a ladder over there. Hi. Spyro, I heard you on the island, but I didn't believe it. You gotta help me. One of the Riptox keeps calling me Ham Sandwich and asking me if I'd go better with mustard and mayonnaise. First of all... How did you hear that I was on the island? And second of all, honey mustard. I, I just don't like regular mustard. I find it too pungent, you know? And sometimes a bit watery. Like, I love ketchup, but dear God, if I'm pouring ketchup and that little bit of water comes out, it's so cringy. Okay, you're free now. Go to freedom, you stupid pig. Maybe I should talk to you, because I don't know if you actually will offer me a fairy. I mean, not a fairy, a dragonfly. You're looking at a map of this place. Woo! Thank goodness you got to me before the Riptox could. The, there were Riptox watching over you. So what the hell? They already got to you, really, if you were captured. You idiot. Wow, really? Okay, that opened up another cell. We'll come to that later. For now, I want to explore this side. Probably a button that will open the cell that has the dragonfly. I like the way he just skids while upside down. Yes, I hear you already. I'll come to you later. For now, let's check out the upper part and then come back later. Okay, I had to hit all these targets. Okay, that hit. Good to know. I guess all the targets have got to be around this side. There's another one right over here. Is that going to hit? Yes, it did. What? Uh, I hit the ground and it kept me in glide? The sad thing about this, there's no shortcut to just get back up there. At least Dark Souls did it right. Good thing you saved me. I swear I could hear the sausage grinder calling my name. Yeah, no problem. Fixed. Saving pigs on vacation is what I was born to do. <laughs> he says it so sarcastically. He's like, fine, I'll save you from death. God, it's not like I'm a hero. 
What could be beyond this way then? Another area? Oh, that was pretty large. Okay, there's this section. Let me comb up the rest of the area I was in. Including get that dragonfly. But I'm pretty sure I'm spending more than one video in this island. Hey, it's Socrates! Look, the, you know, there's no way you were escaping, that's for damn sure. You were locked in. Okay, so I guess the only reason I would need now to go through the upper part is to get that uh, dragonfly on the floating platforms. I don't know if there was anything else I needed to reach. But I'm pretty sure I got it all. Why are you so surprised that I'm here? You just saw me. Well, at least the platforms didn't go back down. Okay, let's try this again, and hopefully I'll nail it on the first try. Wait, did I not get these? Oh, I was too busy hitting the targets that I didn't comb this area out. Okay, I don't trust myself not to fall. But if I do this... It should be no problem. Oh! Good to know these things cannot die from explosions. Michael Bay would not want to cast you. Just gimping his uh, style. It's Homer. Oh man, good thing that was Homer, because this is making me go dull. What is this? Okay, all I had to do to free myself from this infernal prison was just to bash my head in. Thanks, game. Much appreciated. Okay, that, that would have been a bit easy to miss. Did you have like a Eureka moment, you stupid pig? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Oh! Why did I think those were rings? Like, do I have to fly through them? Oh well. Thank you for zapping me again. It's not like you did that 10, 15 seconds ago. Good lord. Look, I know I'm paranoid when it comes to saving my game in RPGs. That as soon as I save, I will save again. I'll go through and get those gems when I'm finished killing all of these guys. Let's take our time. Like, we don't need to go too fast. When we do that, we just miss stuff. Did I not kill everyone? There's still one guy there. I think I see a dragonfly. But I can't use my bubble breath underwater. Is that a dragonfly? No, that's actually just part of the uh, underwater foliage. Or underwater plant life. <laughs> I don't know why I said foliage. Might as well just go all Marge Simpson and say, Underwater foliage! <laughs> go big or go home, I guess. Go big or go homer. Okay, let's not venture out too far until we've seen everything we need to see. 
this spot. Looks like there should be a lot here. There's our first minigame portal. Am I supposed to get up there? Maybe I can if I go this way. Hi. You're as useless as ever. How am I doing for collections, anyway? Okay, I'm still missing a lot of gems. Only 313 and 7 dragonflies. I remember to press the Z button. Because I didn't want another disaster like before. Like that. What was even that motion? Nothing I'm doing is making sense anymore. What are you sniffing for? What even is this? Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Again, we'll save the minigames for later. Just so I don't get myself turned around. This spot seems safe enough. <laughs> Saw that I was there and just kept sniffing anyway. As if I don't even matter. Never been so disrespected in my life. Hey, it's Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> Daisy's best girl. Especially in Super Mario Party. Maybe not the best dice, but she keeps kicking my ass, so I gotta know my place. She make me humble. <laughs> okay, looks like I am going through here now. I've heard of the pearly gates, but this is ridiculous. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go over the fence like this. There we go. You know, Sparks, you could be a little bit more energetic for getting these gems. This looks like a shipwreck. That's the avid description of this entire game. <laughs> Okay, not bad. Actually, this is gonna turn me around, isn't it? Yep, it is. Let's let's go back. It feels like each of the stages is just like a big area, and then a little hallway, which leads to another big area, through another hallway, and then another big area. I don't know if that's this whole game, but it's sure as hell this level. The other Spyro games before this were, in my opinion, and I'm sure the opinion of many others, I have a lot better. <coughs> and I don't even think it was close. Somehow you missed. And I don't know how you managed to pull that off. Oh gee, I wonder if I'm supposed to uh, crumble these rocks. And even if I do, with what? Looks like there is a cannon on that shipwreck. Can 
I get everything in this spot? No. I definitely did not. Oh. Missed a couple over here. Get this a good combing over, even though I don't have a comb. What is Spyro gonna comb anyway? His horns? I don't think that's practical. In any sense of the word. It doesn't look like I should be able to climb that, but apparently I can. Didn't seem like something I can just easily grip. I'm doubting everything that I should be capable of doing in this game because it's not giving me much faith. Here are dragonfly around here. Is it that one? Why did I hear it from the left side when it was on the right? Oops. <laughs> I was inspiring much faith in that uh pig. Uh Those bars disappeared. You, you, Hello, Aaron. the gate's open. Huh? This? Oh, well, what do you know? Look at that. Silly me. Thanks for saving me. Hey, it's Dip. It's Dip. It cut off. Why did it cut off on a one syllable name? Well, there is the exit. What else is here? Okay, that just takes me back where I started. Yeah, this is back where I started, but wait. Now I'm on this ledge. I haven't been able to get on this ledge before, that's right. And there's another minigame portal right here. Let me get all that sorted and then I'll gotta go back and do the rest of the stage. On the plus side, at least now, when I go back to the beginning of the stage, I can come back and get to this spot. 187 more. I only have half the dragonflies in this level, really? It feels like I've been here a while. Apparently not long enough for this game. Yep, you can just go in these spirals. I'll take care of the minigames last, like I said before. But for now, I want to get this dragonfly. It does look like it's in a very awkward spot. Is it going to get away from me? Doesn't seem like I should be able to get far. Does like to get away. Oh, don't go over there. I can't jump from that spot. Let me clear this out first. Okay, that's a cannon. So it looks like I do need to hit that. Okay, it looks like that's the only thing I can hit. So I don't have to aim it somewhere else. Hey, it's Plato. Okay, at least you didn't give me much trouble. In fact, I don't even think you gave me any trouble. Did I get all the gems? Yeah, I have a bit of a delayed reaction, but yes, I did. No, all that's left is those uh, dragonflies in this level. Right, let me get my bubble breath ready. Okay, 
This one's gonna be very irritating, I can tell. Hey, it's Scuttlebutt! Okay, let's take a look at this. I guess I can go to the Atlas from here. We have seven uh, dragonflies. So it looks like uh, one of the mini games will have two, I guess? If I were to guess. I don't know why I said guess twice, but whatever. Okay, I think we should be pretty good. So let's save. Because it's been over 25 minutes already. And in the next episode, we'll do the mini games and uh, exit this level. See everyone, thanks for watching.